Good morning. Uh, so this little journal is finished. This is one of the mini pocket journals. Um, these are a great size for your handbag, your backpack. Um, so I sealed the cover. Uh, it's got a ring binding. Um, this one is uh, play. So uh, the cover is uh, scrapbooking paper. Uh, you've got the corner protectors on both sides. Uh, you've got the grommets to uh, help uh, keep the cover intact for a longer amount of time. You know, so that it's uh, it can take you know a little bit of a beating. Um, these are also great by your bedside, you know, to do, uh, you know, if you have those thoughts right before you go to bed, maybe you want to record that, a little dream journal. Um, I journal daily, and so I use all kinds of journals. I really like this size um, for making lists, you know, uh, keeping track of things to record gratefuls. Um, it's just a good size for general note taking, you know, for those times when you, you you think I need a piece of paper right now. Um, that's what I like this journal size for, but um, it's it's really just a handy size overall. Um, so this one is uh, three and three quarters wide, and just a smidge over six inches long. So you've got your binder rings on the uh, inside cover. You've got a little pocket. So uh, some extra journaling space, uh, wildflowers, a little uh, index card with rounded corners, and uh, coffee dyed tag on the back and some fun uh, paper on the front. So uh, that's your front pocket. Oops. I'll slide that all right in there. And then you start out with uh, this pocket made out of book pages. And it's got a little tag in it. Um, I always feel like when you do the video, nothing goes quite as smoothly as you would like it to. <laughs> okay, so I will put that in at the end just because I think it will be easier. Um, so here we got a, a tag page with a book page on the back. Uh, some music paper with a little extra journaling space. Some grid paper. We've got a time card and a little uh, some grid paper as a little extra journaling space. This is a foreign language page. We've got a scrapbooking page uh, and a nice blue pattern with a little fold out. A uh, blue dyed index card with a little extra uh, to cut out from a scrapbooking set. Some coloring paper. Another tag with some uh, stamping on there. And it's all of the tags have book page on the back. Uh, here we go, coffee dyed page with a little extra. And these are um, blank on the inside. So uh, they're great for lists or quotes. Uh, ec you know, it's just meant to be extra journaling space. We've got a uh, vintage 1970s road map, a guest check, ledger paper, or tea dyed paper, washi tape on your book page tag. So another of the time cards with a little bit of uh, pink extra journaling space. Um, this is a foreign language dictionary. So you've got some, uh, this is white on one side and it's uh, scrapbooking paper uh, design on the other. Coffee dyed index card. Another book page tag grid paper, and then we've got another of those pockets with a nice little 
on the index card with a tab on it. Coffee dyed paper, map. There's a guest check with some fun. Uh, it's got a little trifold for some journaling space. Ledger paper, book page tag, music paper. Here we are, uh, another time card. And that's got a little bit of purpling, uh, purple, just a little extra journaling space. Foreign language book page. Here's another uh, scrapbooking paper. And then got another fun one there. Uh, index card, coloring page. page tag. Here we go with uh, another of the pockets with the card in it. Vintage map. And then uh, this coffee dyed page has an extra tag on it. Just for fun. Foreign language dictionary page. There's another scrapbooking paper. Here is a, a blue dyed index card with some uh, graph paper for extra journaling space. Here we go with another tag, a card with a tag on it. Some fun uh, blue paper here. This is us. It's steno paper. Um, it's just a little. I like these for little mini lists or, uh, you know, you write a little grocery list on there or uh, it's a fun size for a little quote. It's just a great size to play around with. Here we go. Got another little tag here. Some uh, foreign language page. Here's another scrapbooking with a little flip out. Uh, index card. A little stamping in the corner. There's a vintage 70s map. There's a guest check with a little bit of pink uh, lined paper for uh, extra journaling space notes, stuff like that. And then this is the back uh, with another tag in it. And this one uh, folds out. So you've got a little, just a fun little thing going on there. And I'll put that in at the end. And then the back you've got another little pocket. I think that might be a note. It's just me holding on to the side. So uh, i got three more pieces of uh, extra, you know, oops, journaling spot. Some days I'm just not very coordinated. I feel like when you're on camera, It's harder to get your I don't know like your fumble around with things more than you do if you're just doing it when you're not on camera that's how I always feel okay come on I just want to go back in there because I'm on camera Alright, I will do that off camera. I 
feel like it's mocking me. I do, I do. I feel like I need to make it work. I swear it is never normally this difficult. There we go. See, it just slides right in there when it wants to. So that is the full book. And this is uh, some very fun paper. I just It felt very playful to me. So there is that book. Um, if this video is live, this is already in my Etsy store. Uh, the price on this one is um, $39.99. Uh, and that does include the shipping. Uh, this gets shipped in one of the um, flat rate um, video boxes. It's the perfect size to ship it so that there's no damage to the uh, rings or the binding system that's on here. Um, you do have a little bit of bloom. Um, if you don't like, uh, well, not if you don't like, but I guess if you want to use it uh, without the effect without the embellishments in it, without the extra little paper pieces, um, those can be easily removed, obviously. Um, because it's uh, lightly embellished, um, it won't uh, take much more paper without, uh, you know, you get some serious bloom or alligator mouth. Without the ephemera, it lays flat, you know, the same as the back here. Um, and you could probably get about, about another 20 to 25 pages in it. Um, these journals are uh, l lightly embellished. And um, all, most, if not all, of the journals I make are done in a semi-naked or naked style. Um, where I kind of do the, the foundation of the journal so it's all ready to go and use. And for you to further decorate and embellish it um, to your taste, to your style. Um, so these are definitely complete journals, but um, it leaves you room to personalize it. And that's really um, my goal with every journal that I make, that it's fun and easy to use as is, but it leaves plenty of room for the new owner uh, to love it and um, stamp their own personality onto it. So this one is Play. If you can see this video, then uh, on my YouTube channel, then the um, journal is live in my Etsy store. There is a link to my Etsy store in the description box. Um, I hope that um, you are having a wonderful day, whatever time of the day or night you are watching this. If you have watched all the way to the end, thank you very much. Whatever you are doing with your time these days, I hope it brings you joy and happiness. And until I see you next time, um, I wish you happy crafting. Bye!